Oh, this light is so bright. All right. Hi, I literally just woke up and I'm about to shower. Today is my retake for a block one exam. I didn't sleep the last 40 minutes because I don't know, anxiety tried to kick in and my heart rate increased. And I got a little nervous, but I do feel that I'm super prepared. When I first took block one exam, back on October 1st, and I looked at that exam, y'all, it looked like a foreign language. Like, I was like, dang girl, have you been studying these past seven weeks? But now I did like a super study mode this past like eight days and I was studying for it simultaneously during block two. I feel pretty good. I have to report to school in about two hours. I believe the exam starts at 9 a.m. It's currently 6.35 a.m. So yeah, let's get it. Yeah, things happen, people fail. People don't talk about their failures though. So I'm gonna be honest about mine. I'll update you after I'm done. Hey y'all, welcome back to Medicine Medicine with Vix. And today like, listen, when I started this channel, I wanted to be authentic, relatable, and transparent. And I vowed to myself that I would do that at all times. And back on October 1st, which was two days before my birthday, you know, celebrating a birthday of being a medical student. And it was supposed to be like, yes, I get this exam. Then yes, I get to celebrate my birthday on the weekend. But then it was like, no, I failed my exam. I didn't want to talk about it. I barely told any of my classmates. I literally told like maybe two classmates. And then as time went on, I felt a little bit more comfortable discussing this with other people. And then I went back and forth on whether I would actually discuss this on my channel. You know, speaking to other medical students who are more advanced throughout their career. So maybe like M3s and 4s. You know, some people had some advice, some had conflicting advice, but then I had to stay true to who I am and what I vowed that this channel would be. Like the reason why my pre-med journey was so incredibly long was because people lied to me or people refused to discuss their journey because this journey to medicine, it is difficult. Like there's no other way for me to put it. And anybody who says it's easy, they cap in. And for why? Like I don't do that. And I just like, I'm not sure whether I find solace or comfort in knowing that someone else has failed or not because I just rather all of us to pass. But I guess the reality of it is that some people will encounter more obstacles than others and that's okay. And I really wanna learn how to be better to myself. When I failed that exam, immediately I was like, I'm stupid, I don't belong here. I'm not smart and that's not true. It was my first medical school exam. Why would I be so hard on myself? that just also wasn't smart. Like that thinking in itself was not smart, but after like getting a private tutor to re go over block one material and I don't know, just like, I'm really just finding my groove at this point. And yeah, I'm gonna just show you how the day of taking a retake went because talk about lots of emotions. I really try not to let anxiety cripple me or anything, but <laughs> when you're taking a retake and the stakes for a retake are, you take this retake, well, you get to take a retake, number one. If you take the retake and you don't pass, you have to go up before like some board, like maybe a board of deans and your advisor and explain to them basically like what happened, how can you do better? And then you do better next year. Like I would be forced to sit out the rest of this year and repeat my first year of medical school. Yeah. so. Can you imagine, or you can only imagine the type of stress that that puts me under. And I think like personally, it really messed with me mentally because like having that weigh on me, like if you fail this, you have to redo your whole year. I was a pre-med student for 11 years. I'm not trying to have to redo anything else ever again. I had to redo the MCAT five times. Like I don't wanna have to redo M one year. Also, I don't come for money. So taking out loans for a semester and then having to add an extra semester onto loans is also like financially crippling, mentally crippling. I think that's why once I started Black 2, I was like depressed for maybe the first month just because of the stress of knowing I had to do this retake at the end of Block 2. So two months, two plus months after I'd taken the exam, I had to retake the exam. And then Block 2 was very just hard with micro is a lot. And then immunology popped up again. I'm not really the best at immunology either. Or I'd say at that point, I hadn't learned how I didn't know how to study for immunology to best prepare myself, but y'all, at the end of the day, all I can really say is that God is good. Like, he's a strong tower. <laughs> he's a way maker. He's a miracle worker. Yes, he is. And I'm grateful. I'm so grateful that he calls me a child and he calls me friend. And that's just everything to me.
So yeah, I tried to do a little bit of vlogging the day of my exam so you could see real time feelings. And yeah, just know you ain't alone. Reach out if you have help. Like there's honestly nothing to be ashamed of. Everybody is not passing everything in medical school and it doesn't make you not smart, unintelligent. It doesn't mean that you don't deserve to be here. It just means that you have some things to adjust until you find your proper footing and that's okay too. So yeah, this is me being 100% transparent, relatable and authentic because I can't come on here and cap for y'all. <laughs> that is just not me. But yeah, here we are. Walked out of my test, y'all. And your girl got 24 more questions correct on the retake than I did the first time. Like, it did not look like a foreign language. I actually knew what I was talking about. Like, I was going over them answers. Cause like, after we take our test, we get to review it. And I was just like shaking at my desk because I haven't experienced this. Like, I freaking passed and I can enjoy my winter break now. Whew. I kept listening to um, Miracle Worker before I came in, and I can say just that. God is a miracle worker. Hallelujah. To Christmas shop I go, yay. Like, I really don't think y'all understand. I've been stressed because if you fail a retake, you have to remediate the entire year. And I didn't fail. Like, I really feel like I'm smart again, but this also shows me that I do know how to study for these exams. I just have to stick to a routine and not try to keep switching things up. But oops, I just skipped the whole step, Lord Jesus. But yes, go me, go me, go me. Thanks so much for watching my video today. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how you feel. Have you ever been ashamed of failing an exam? And what did that do to your psyche? How did you cope with it throughout this entire time? And how did you move forward from the failure to going to your long road of success? But until next time, y'all, bye.